Hey guys, it's me again. So, on the road again to storage locker number two. Uh, this one actually came around pretty interesting. We, uh, I initially lost the bit on this. Um, so that's what caused me to buy the first unit. I got a call from uh, one of the associates there at Storage Treasure, and he said, hey, the person that won the bid ahead of you uh, didn't pay, so this is going to offer back to you at your original bid. So um, I took him up on the offer. Obviously, I wanted the, I wanted the locker, so it ended up going for $120. My, my bid on it was $60, so after taxes all in were about $75 on the unit. Uh, this is twice as big as the first unit I got. It is a little more spread out, so I don't know that it necessarily has twice as much stuff. Um, but there is a, there was one, actually one piece in here that really caught my eye. Uh, we are in Nashville, so the likelihood that you're going to find some kind of musical equipment is pretty good. And it looks like I'm praying, I'm betting that we're finding a, uh, a music road case in this, and hopefully it's full of all kinds of goodies. Again, we're gonna do this just kinda like we did the last one. I'll get to the unit, we'll, uh, I'll show, what, show you what it looks like. I won't do any more taping at the unit itself. We'll bring all the stuff back to the house. Me and Baby G will go through it, and uh, we'll show you all the stuff that we find. So I'll catch back up with you as soon as we get to the unit. we made it uh, we are at the storage facility now I'm gonna run in and give the uh, manager his hundred dollar cleaning deposit settle up all the uh, fees and uh, we'll go catch you when we make it to the unit all right guys here we are we've made it to the unit like I said this is a 10 by 10 unit here's everything I'm gonna walk right over here real quick so this is what I thought was the road case, and it is not. It is apparently two trunks, which is actually just as interesting to me as a road case. So we're gonna get all this stuff down. Um, I've got a little bit of help today, so I've got the CEO of the business here. This is Red. We're gonna take care of this thing, get it loaded up, get it back to the house, and we'll go through it there. See you guys. All right, hey guys, we are back at the house we just got everything unloaded um, we got a lot of boxes over here to go through um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started uh, we've got some really interesting stuff uh, I was a little bit surprised um, so first off remember I said I thought this was gonna be a road case but this actually ended up being three of these trunks like this I haven't opened them I don't know what's in them but they're very light uh, but we'll get all to get to all that good stuff here in just a minute so I got baby G holding the camera down uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so here is our first uh, case. This has got uh, wheels on it. If nothing else, this case is really kind of cool. All right, here we go. Oh, shit. So, ooh, got some nice looking men's sweaters in there. And we all do know that uh, sometimes we do package breakables in our, but they did not in this one. All right. <laughs> all right, here we go. What do we got here? A uh, small DVD unit. see some brand new uh, blinds it looks like <laughs> and you got to keep your blinds clean oh, all right there's a looks like a little certificate of recognition from a guy oh this is kind of cool 
All right, let's see. What's what is that? I don't know. Let's see. What do we got? Uh, another certificate of recognition, but this is in there. What is that? It's like a little pin. I get these for uh, what they call service awards. So it's just a... Um, you did a good job, so they, they recognize you. Uh, let's see. All right, got a bunch of tax records here. We'll take all that stuff back. Oh, that's kind of cool. What is that? An old Motown. Some old uh, calendars. VHS tape. And here's some, uh, here we go. Bungee cord. Gonna stay in shape here. Oh, what's this? Is it a shirt? It is a shirt. Um, what does it say? Record bar. I can't read the rest of it. Jazz, classical pop. That may be worth looking up there. That's actually kind of cool. I will say, too, this guy had a wicked good-looking uh, uh, record collection that we're going to look at here in just a second. So, All right, so let's get a couple things up here on the table. Oh, I know what that is. Oh. What is that? So, yeah, let me explain this real quick. There was, uh, there was four of these in the box, in the unit, and these are unopened reams of paper. And when I grabbed the box and realized how heavy it was, I had to look and see what the heck it was. But that's what it is. I've got three brand new unopened reams of paper. What are reams of paper? Just paper? So, ring, yeah, like copy paper. Oh. So um, it's kind of funny, but I'm relatively sure these go for $40, $50 a ream. So I've got one, two, three, and uh, my sister let me borrow her van, so I gave her one. So that's kind of cool. Let's get a couple things going here. All right, here we go. Let's take a look and see what all we got here. Uh, this bag, unfortunately, I thought this was gonna be a nice bag, but it looks like it's a uh, a little ripped up. But let's see what we got. Wow, looks like we are... Looks like we have khaki pants for days here. Um, let's see what else we got. Yeah, looks like I'm good on khakis for the rest of my life here. Uh, American Eagle. Yeah. So that's basically, we'll go through this and see if there's anything, oh, there's a brand new pair. We'll see if there's anything in particular good. I don't foresee it happening, but let's see what else we got in here. If we can luck out. Nope, that's gonna be it out of that. So this is a fairly interesting box. I'm not familiar with this brand, but these are jeans and... Yeah. Those all look cool. So these are all nice looking jeans. They seem like they've been well cared for. Um, I can't read the name on that. Brooklyn X Press. Oh, hold on. What's this? That's pretty. I'm going to have to look these up because I am not familiar with this, but I can usually tell you that if it's got really cool designs on the butt, that usually makes it worth so more that's money. The gooey thing was on the other ones too. Yep. Yeah, so we have two pair. Well, let me see. Does this have any kind of designs on it? 
Yeah, it kind of does. So here's your uh, back of the brown pants we saw. And it's C-O-O-G-I, Kooky. Oh. I am not familiar with that, but I got two pair of them. And it looks like uh, the swim trunks. Swim trunks. All right. All right. Let's see here. This looks like it's going to be just some rando. Maybe it's the plug for the VHS or whatever it's called. Nice scissors. Ah. Oh. How often have you needed some uh, safety pins? I got them for you right here. Oh, it doesn't work. And a towel. It's a pretty color. But a nice bucket. All right, so I went ahead and popped the top on this box so we didn't have to worry about seeing the address. Uh, this was unopened and it was mailed to this person. Uh, here's the receipt. College? I'm not familiar with this. More mugs! Yeah, that looks like a. Uh... These are really nice mugs, though. These are cute, these. Yeah, let's, I don't know how many there are in here. So there's three of them. But if I had to guess, there's one. Oh, there's only a couple more. <laughs> oh, here's one. This one's different. Alumni mug. Alumni. So, uh... Oh. This is the interesting little bag I saw. This is just uh, just personal care stuff. What I see here, though, nice. Oh, it's a button shirt. Amazon Essentials. Uh, I think those are pajamas. Mm. That's less exciting. <laughs> But they're brand new, all the same. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I think that was the cup I was talking about. Coffee mug. Water. Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. Oh, that Mickey's Really Swell Coffee brand. I don't know that I've ever seen anything quite like this before. What is it? And it is, uh, it is logoed for Disney. You got that? Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, what's this? Oh, I know what this is. I was a bartender. I know exactly what this is. Me too. Isn't that the whipped cream thing? No. <laughs> no? So, you've got your shaker. And this is actually, man, this is really nice. It's got the... The rubber around it so it doesn't come off and then what does that do it should open there so then there's got your strainer for your uh and then it's got if you look along the side here it's got uh different recipes for different drinks it's kind of hard to see because it's so shiny but it's like a cosmopolitan it gives you all the different recipes that is actually wicked cool Right. Uh, looks like we have a printer, but this doesn't look like a normal printer. So let's see what we got here. I am not familiar with this 
brand at all. Martin Yale, but it does not look like a normal printer to me. So, I don't know, we'll have to check this out. Huh, I don't know, we'll have to check that out. I'm not sure what this is. It, it's obviously some kind of printer, but I've got pieces to it that I don't know what they do. So, we'll check that out. If it comes up to be anything good, we'll, uh, we'll share that with you after we, get, uh, after we uh, check it out. All right, let's see what we got here. Xfinity prepaid internet. There's an ethernet cable, but that's about it. Uh, homemade DVDs. I'm not sure what this is. It's because it's missing the cover. Oh, here's the cover. So this was the Apostolic Way. What does that mean? Being an apostle for a Pentecostal assembly of the world, apparently. All right, so this is somebody's name, but she is a mass, has her master's degree in education. And this is apparently all of her... Wow, so this is apparently her uh, portfolio brand new publication manual got some uh, that is a plaque appreciation plaque from boys club I got a feeling this feels like a plaque too yeah so that's just another plaque uh, let's see yeah so we actually looks like she was an outstanding Contributor to the <laughs> Boys Club. Uh, here's some lithium batteries. These might be the batteries in my LED light. And let's see here. So this is, I don't know, successful teachers. Interesting, but I don't know. I don't think this is going to be worth a whole great lot. Laundry detergent. Got to do your laundry. All right, let's see here. I see something that looks very, very promising. Everybody knows who this is. Michael Jordan. Ah. No. Oh. What in the world? Okay. <laughs> that is not what I wanted. I got the shoelaces. I want the shoes. <laughs> All right. Well. That's trash. I'm thinking this is probably going to be all trash. I don't see anything worth anything here. But. All right. Again, we were in love with our laundry. Here's some more laundry. <laughs> There's a hat. Just a plain. I keep thinking that label's at Hardy. It looks exactly like it. TV freeway. I'm not real sure what that means. Is this for a skateboard or something? I'm not real sure. Um. Oh, it's like a magician vest. Yeah. I would like to magically see some good stuff come out of this box. So it looks like we have some zip code jeans, Old Navy. I'm not as familiar with, I know Old Navy, but I don't know zip code. Jordash, not a, not a lot. These have cool pockets. N-O-I-Z, noise. Oh, sweet. What is, what is the uh, brand? And Joe said thank you. C-O-O-G. There's that Coog again with the cool pockets. Man, that is just wicked cool looking. I think this is what this is all going to be. Oh, wow, those are nice. You think I could pull those off? Oh, what is that? Anti. Oh, my God, that's Rihanna's album. Is it really? Yeah. 
Well, no, that like that's what her, that's what the album's called. I don't know if that's hers. Oh, like, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna dig here a little bit longer. All right, those are sweatpants. Um, South Pole. Why have I never heard of these? I guess because my fashion sense is. Uh oh, I know that name. Boo boo. I do know that name. I don't know if it's worth anything, but I know the name. Is he like a street streetwear guy? Yes, I believe so. Some more Jordash. I think the only way that's gonna come in handy is if those are like super vintage. And I have no idea how to tell. Mm, this looks nice. All right. Apparently we like to tracks. swim. Uh, Timber Creek. All right. Here's the last little bit of these. Dickies. I'm not seeing anything else here. But still, I think that was a pretty good find. If nothing else, they look super cool, and usually the flashier the pockets, the, the more you can get for that stuff, even if you've never heard of it is what I have found. All right. Uh, this one has got wheels. Let's see what we got here. That's amazing. This Again, it's light, so I'm not holding. Man, got such a nice case. Why would you put linens in it? What's <laughs> that? I don't know what that is. I hear something. Give the light. Yeah, that's good. Cool. It's fairly light. I don't know that it's uh It's kind of pretty, but I think that's all it is. It's pretty. Oh yeah, it is. I got this. Whew, that's heavy. Records. Online investing. Online investing. Stocks. Hey. Hold on. I want to read this. All right. So we got uh, power within. Oh, a vacuum attachment. Um, that's all I see. And then we got more, more old looking records here. Yeah, dude, this is. Michael Jackson. What? Stop. Shut. Wow, MJ. Nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, he's got some good records in here. That's an old Jackson 5. Holy cow, look at the young Michael Jackson right there. Isn't that cool? I was trying to see if That's there was... That's beautiful. I was trying to see if there was a date on this just jumped right out at me. And I'm not seeing it, but this has got to be from the... Oh, yeah, right there, 1980. That is so nice. Is there more stuff in there? Um, I rec okay, so we ran across this, an old uh, Marvin Gaye. And the cool thing about these, sometimes you can... Uh, they've got a nice little uh, insert where you can fold it out. If you've never seen the records before, these are really, really nice. This looks fun. Oh, Ooh, an Whitney old Houston. Whitney Houston. Nice. Oh, that's so good tasting music. Yeah, so if nothing else, we got some good music happening out here. Oh, there's more Marvin Gaye. Some of these have, some of these are a little rough. Oh, uh, Stevie Wonder, nice. Love Steve. Man, look how young Stevie Wonder looks. Holy cow. All right, so these are some of the electronics. So this is all of the electronics that we found in the uh, in the unit. I haven't plugged any of this stuff in yet. Um, I think it's all Kenwood. Kenwood brand, which is really nice. It looks like it might have recently worked. We've got all of the cords here to plug everything in. So, um... I know a lot of times these electronics you can you can do pretty well with, and then we've got apparently he jacked his Xfinity his Xfinity uh, 
modem. So here we have uh, CDs. This thing is heavy. That appears to be accurate. Lord have mercy. There is so many. Just, I don't even have any idea where you even start with this. Oh, Alicia Keys. I will say his taste in music so far has been, oh, the Isley Brothers, come on now. His taste in music has been really good. Amazing. So, so uh, hopefully that keeps up. I don't see anything other than just a bunch of CDs here, so. But it's gonna be fun to listen to these. I don't think CDs these days are worth a whole lot of money. I'm sure there's some out there that are worth something, but I prefer to just uh, Aretha Franklin. So I prefer to just listen to them and enjoy the music. The other two boxes that I was talking about, uh, there's two big Pitney, Pitney bows. I should have said there's one big and one small, so. Um, So if this is uh, in here, then I think we, we I think we may be into the money. So this is a Cinda Pro C series from, by Pitney Bowes. Ew! That looks like poop. <laughs> wow, is that new? That looks like that is what it is. Um, I have no idea if this thing works or, or anything. Looks like it's, oh, whoa, 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 hold on a second. It looks like this. Ah, right there. So it looks like this. All goes together and we have us a professional weight mail sorter I'm not sure what this thing even does but it looks god-awful expensive I hope it is and I hope I can sell it so um, yeah guys I think that's about gonna be a call it a wrap for this one so we've got two units in two days now I just have to work on actually getting this stuff uh, in order so we can get it. Uh, most of this stuff's gonna end up going to the flea market. We do have some stuff we're gonna look up on eBay. If I find a winner, I'll uh, make sure I update the video with it, but I think we're gonna call it a wrap. I uh, appreciate you guys listening if you made it all the way through. Guys, peace out. Catch you next time.